Welcome back, folks, to a brand new health today. I was showing you how to build your own memory cover of Hydra from BattleBot Season 5. So this is, of course, the replica. So you can see which I'll be showing you how to build today. Um, has a nice working flipper as well. So, yeah. Get into the materials you are going to need to build this replica. You will need the following materials. You are going to need a pair of scissors. A ruler, a compass, a black marker or a pen, a blue marker or a pen, a red marker or a pen, a yellow marker or a pen, a purple marker, oh, why did I say purple? My bad. Um, a pencil sharpener, um, some tape, a pencil, some cardboard or card, either works. Well, I personally use Cargate Cardboard. You're also going to need the instructions, which are linked in the description below. I would also recommend preferably having a lighter purple marker to get the wedge-lit colors. Um, over, so it's, uh, most of Hydra is a much darker color compared to the wedge And that is about all you're going to need to make Hydra. So let's get into the pro So let's start with the process of how you're going to um, start making it. So you're going to start by taking your instructions and just copying them onto whatever material you're using. Now, I would usually use card gate cardboard, as I did with Hydra. You're then going to um, and color those um, pieces in, and then you're going to cut them out. Uh, after you, well, no, you color them in, and then you do a layer of tape over the top, and then you cut them out. And then we'll be on to the next part of how, the how to build, which is making the main chassis of the robot. Sorry, folks, if there's a bit, quite a bit of background noise, but let's get into building Hydra. So to start, you're going to want to make your wheels, of course, so just going to do them the normal way. You take your, you have um, four strips, I believe they are, uh, forget, I think they're three by 0.75 centimeters. So uh, you'll take your strips, and you're just going to bend them around the eight um, circles, which, which, each ha which each have a diameter of one. You have two, and you have eight, so you'll make four wheels, like so. Okay, next up, you're going to take, you're going to make the base of your robot, basically. So, you have your large base, which has these little cutout areas for the wheels. Um, you're going to take that, and then you have some very nice long rectangles, which fit the side, and then they have a tiny little bend at the front. You'll touch those onto the side, like so. Um, then, of course, you also have your, I believe they're 3.25 by 0.5. Not exactly sure what it is. Um, let me check right now. It is. 3.5 by 0.5, you'll have two of those, and you'll attach them onto here on the edges, and then you'll take your angled one, angled panels, and you're going to attach them on. Uh, these. This will make up the front of the robot. But now you're just going to want to attach your wheels onto the actual robot, so I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Okay, folks, so as you can see, I've done a lot more. So um, basically what you've done, what you're going to do next, you're going to take, uh, you have this kind of like side panel for Hydra. So it's got, it's, um, it's actually, I think it's a trapezoid. Is it a trapezoid? One, two, three, four, five. No, no, it's not. But, um, anyway, so, um, you have the top, you have the side, of course, and then you have this, like, very much, like, angled part, which should fit right across here, right? So you should be able to fit it across. Sorry if it's not focusing too well. There we go. And then you have a bit of an angled part over here in the back. I'm just going to kind of attach it onto the side here and then across the bottom here. And then you're going to attach to this kind of top part. It's basically a rectangle with a bit of an angle at the back, which should be good. Um, it might be a bit too much. You might need to cut a bit. I'm going to do some cutting to fix it up in a second. But um, yeah, uh, as you can see, looking pretty good so far. So you're just going to attach this onto the top. Oh, I forgot to mention this. So um, you have your inside panel. So these are going to be, of course, the... Um, I think they are 10 by 2.5. There's a line up to is three tall here. Um, this is goes in, I believe, one centimeter. Over here goes in three centimeters, three, 2.5 up. Sorry, this is two. This is 2.5 up, and this is 2.5 up, and then it's across. And yeah, you have this one across the, um, on the sides, and you would do this. You'll have two of these, of course. And we're not going to tape those onto the ground, onto the actual base yet. But, um, yeah, hopefully I'm making a bit of sense. And you do that. 
Okay, so next up, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your back panel, you're going to attach it onto the back like so. Then you have this kind of other, like, ang this kind of, like, a bit smaller version of the back panel with, like, some angles at the side. Attach that one on top of that. Now, the back panel is made to five since it's 9 by 0 0.375, 0 0.75, and then it just goes up at, like, it's a trapezoid, basically, sort of. Um, then you're going to take your 3 by, um, point, by 2.5, I believe. Attach it over here just to kind of bring these parts together. Then the 2.25 by 2.5, you attach this one. It's a bit thinner just to account for cardboard. If you're not using cardboard, then make it a bit taller. Uh, might not, might not actually be a bit too short, but um, yeah, attach that in the middle. And you basically have the main robot done. You're just going to need to add wedge slits right now and the flipper. So let's get on to doing those. So folks, of course, for the next part of the hubbo today, now we're going to be focusing on making the wedge slits and the flipper. As you can see, I've already done that, but today I'm going to explain to you how to do that right now. So, uh, basically, you have your flipper. We're going to start with the flipper. So, you have this very much angled kind of you have this panel. So, this panel is, um, it has a bit of a circle at the back, which is how you're going to identify it. You have two panels, which of course are reversed. Pick two of those, and then you're going to have um, a very nice long strip. Of cardboard that should extend from here all the way to the front and with this but I won't be this little piece it will be I'm be connected to this part so you should be able to identify it you're going to attach that over the top and that should make your flipper but then because there is a second layer on top of here from the image I saw you take a second one of the you're gonna take the um, smaller one which just has the like front part and you're gonna attach it on top of that now you may notice that this is a much brighter um, purple than the rest of the robot. That is mainly because um, I found out after I had done the flipper that I actually have two purple markers, one, uh, both of which are supposed to be the same color, but one's much older, I think, and it's darker. So that's interesting. But, um, yeah, and I ended up using the lighter one on this one, so that's why it's much lighter than the rest of the robot, which kind of is a problem, it's not too big of a problem. So, um, once you've attached your flipper on, you're then going to take, you have two little, um, kind of these little panels, so it's a half an inch at the bottom, and then it's 1.25 or 1.5 centimeters, not half an inch, half a centimeter, and then it's 1.5 centimeters upwards, and then it's 0.5 centimeters up on the other side, and then an angle, and you have two of those, one, um, one's reversed, of course, so, um, those will be the kind of little things that you attach, you're going to attach those right there, I forgot to do the highlighting there. Okay, so, um, now, uh, once you've attached, so, um, now you're gonna attach the little, um, kind of, like, wedgelet thing on the front of the flipper. So, you have six of these kind of, um, so it's basically, like, a triangle, a very long triangle, but 2.5 by 0.5, but there's a bit of a curve in the middle. You're gonna add, um, you're gonna take two of those, and then you have, um, 2.5 by 0.5, you have, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of those as well. You attach um, those on top and on the bottom to create kind of a wedge, and then you're going to actually bend a bit of it so it gets the kind of the bend that Hydra has. Um, and you're going to attach it onto the front. You're actually going to do that twice more as well for the other two wedgelets, which you're going to attach to the little kind of these panels in the front here. Because now we're going to make the actual wedge is. So I didn't, I actually just kind of colored it because I couldn't be bothered to make a bunch of triangles. But, um, yeah, so is uh what's the i'm trying to remember the length of the what the actual um, portions of the wedge are it's 3.25 centimeters by i believe that's 1.75 centimeters it might be a bit too long you touch that over the top and then on the bottom you're gonna bring over um 3.25 centimeters by 1.5 centimeters and now you're gonna touch those to create kind of like this kind of like wedge design and then you have these little triangles which kind of have these little bits coming off the like, it's kind of got, like, a bit of a triangle cut into it, like so, on the sides, and they actually extend over the wedge a bit. Um, you're gonna attach one of, the, you're gonna attach one of those on each side of your two things, which you've done. And they have a triangle, they're very small, they're, uh, 1.5 by 0.5. Those little triangles you're gonna attach onto the other side, so you get your, um, two wedges, which you're gonna attach onto the robot, of course. And you'll basically be done with Hydra, and that's basically it, so let me say my thoughts on this one. These didn't end up coming out exactly how I wanted, but it should be fine, and it's got a very nice flipper as well. 
Um, it works very well. Pretty accurate as well. I'm pretty happy with how the design came out. Not too happy with the light purple. I wish that would have been dark purple, but of course I messed that up. And I don't really want to go back and fix it, but, um, it's pretty fine. Um, oh yeah, so, I'd recommend adding a bit of tape so it doesn't, like, go all the way over. Like, I do double-sided tape and then just tape it on. I also added a quarter so it pops right back down. So you have to press it in a bit, but, uh, yeah. As you can see, this isn't very flush to the ground. I'm gonna have to, I think it's, it has to do with wheels popping it up a bit. Which I'll have to fix, but um, other than that, yeah, it's very. I'm very happy with this replica, so um, thank you for watching, and have a great day.